Hey guys, good morning. It is Jennifer. Um, yeah, I figured I would vlog today, even though I did say that I was not going to be able to vlog for a while or put the video for a while. I figured I would just try and um, do one because I got a little less busy. Um, anyway, I'm on the way now to a hair appointment. As you can see, my hair is a mess. Okay. I really, I was contemplating whether I could even turn the camera on because my hair looks a hot mess and I'm actually on the way to a dreadlock consultation. Yes, I am thinking about, actually no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start the dreadlock process and I am very excited. It's something that I've wanted to do now for <clears throat> actually a few years, but I just, I don't know, I always just thought about doing it. I never actually thought about going forth and doing it. So I'm just going now to this consultation because she wants to see the length of my hair and how thick my hair is so she can determine the price, which worries me because my hair is really thick. So I feel like she's going to just like charge me a whole bunch. But um, I am very excited. Like I'm so sick of detangling my hair. I'm sick of just I don't know I'm just ready for a change really and I really like dress so I'm excited just to even have dress to begin with but um <clears throat> I've been wearing this shirt a lot this is actually my sister's shirt <laughs> it's funny because in the summertime whenever I go out I usually stick to like two or three outfits just because like what's the point because you know you go to different places <laughs> so I've been wearing this shirt almost everywhere so if you see me again wearing this shirt it explains it of course you guys are going to come along with me on my dreadlock journey i will probably be like documenting it every week or so um i think it'll be good for me to look back on it and just to see my progression okay so i've tamed the beast a little bit now i really need to go see this always happens i always wait to the last minute thinking that i'll have enough time to get ready actually i mean i'm not late i can leave in like 10 minutes and still be on time i have to be there at 11. <clears throat> But I'm actually still not ready yet, so I may actually be like, um, really, I just need to put my shoes on. I really hope I'm like getting myself into something that I'm going to regret. <laughs> These dreads are so permanent. Unless I like grew them out, they'll look really ugly. They'll look, that'll be really ugly. Grew them all the way out to where I had like a medium sized fro. <laughs> or I could do that and just always put like in a high bun and always have a headband on. I could do that if I just don't like it after a while. But I think I'm going to love it. <clears throat> I think I will love it. Okay, I gotta go. And right as I try to freaking leave, I can't find my key. Why does this always happen? This is so annoying. Gosh. Jeez, oh, now I'm gonna be late. Now I'm gonna be late. Okay, seriously, look where I found my key, like in my wallet. I put it there trying to outsmart myself yesterday because I was carrying a whole bunch of groceries and I figured I would just put it in my wallet as I was coming into the house. I had this moment of like, I was standing in the living room just a few seconds ago. And all of a sudden I was like, like literally, <laughs> I was like, I think it's in my wallet. <laughs> I think that was the Lord. Thanks, Jesus. I appreciate that. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. It's like dragging something on my car and the, is leaving. What the heck? It's leaving like a residue. Um, can you, did you see that green slime? What in the world? Anyway, I just left the dreadlock consultation. <sighs> Turn left. What? I'm so freaking excited. talking over my garment I don't know <laughs> anyway anyway so yeah I was considering going to another guy who my sister's friend had recommended to me because he charges only $60 and um, from what it looks like her hair looks fine but for whatever reason I just didn't want to go to him because he's a guy and I would be sitting in his hello I hate it when cars are like in my way and they literally just sit there. But anyway, she, she 
uh, requested that I go to him and he was cheaper yeah but I didn't feel comfortable going to his apartment because you know he's a guy um, I don't know it just didn't feel right to me <laughs> but I went to her and I liked her vibe like she seemed really chill really cool and miles and we looked through some pictures and I found the size that I wanted Oh, and she said I got like the like a really good size for my hair type because um, my hair shit my hair is like moderately thick um, slash annoyingly thick <laughs> at least for me it is when it comes to actually doing it is this recording yes it's recording um, so I'm excited I went ahead and made an appointment for tomorrow um, so tomorrow by 1 30 I will be starting my Eight miles. I'm making an announcement to Garmin. Jeez. <laughs> so tomorrow at 1.30, I'll be starting my dreadlock journey. Oh my gosh, I wanted to do this literally for years. Literally. And I just think now I'm at a point where I really feel ready. I'm at the thrift store now. And I'm the, I should have not, I should have not. I shouldn't have come here when I was hungry, but... I forgot to pack a snack with me before I left to go to the consultation, so I'm screwed, but I haven't found necessarily what I'm looking for because I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, <laughs> but um, I did find like three things, um, these black shorts and then like this white shirt and this green shirt, but now I'm looking at green olive colored shorts because the ones I have now are really small. Um, I don't want to wear those out in public anymore. But I'm getting exhausted because I'm so hungry. And I'm a little discouraged. I really feel like I never have any luck when I come to the thrift store. I mean, I did find three items, so I guess that is good, I guess. But I think I'm going to go home soon. Hey guys, I'm about to go for a run. Um, I didn't do much once I got back. I was just like really tired. So I just laid <laughs> down. And actually, I took a nap, like a 40 minute nap. Um, but now I really feel like going outside and running because I don't know, I've been unmotivated to work out <laughs> this whole week. So I figured I'd just do a little bit of something today. I don't know. I'm just going to run my neighborhood like once around, which takes about 17 to 20 minutes or so so and it's only like it's a slow j well i don't know it's been taking shorter because i've been jogging faster which is good anyway i'm gonna go run hi guys it is the evening time now i got done working out and i showered and everything and now i'm eating oatmeal um for dinner with some raisins and some peanuts <laughs> And I'm watching my little nephew. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hmm? Hello. Hello. Have you ever seen a camera before? <laughs> Since I've been making vlogs and I can hear myself talk, I realize that my English accent is terrible. <laughs> Did I know that? But anyway, yeah, I'm going to just end here for today. Oh, maybe I should explain my hair. My hair is in uh, two puffs. I put this, I put it up like this because I was taking a shower and I didn't want to like have my fro all out. <laughs> yes. Hi, buddy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> he stopped smiling as soon as the camera goes on him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I think he's saying goodnight. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. I don't know when that will be. Maybe next week. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.